Hey everybody, it's Hawk here, and I've got my coil gun fully charged. So I'm going to go down the operating system for this. Let me point this in the correct, safe directions here, so I'm going to flip this around so you guys can see it. So, how this works is, um, this button right here uh, changes the mode. So it'll go to single, full auto, or burst, or safe mode. This is the power switch, which I will now press. Now if you see, that light came on, and the computer is booting up. Alright, so it's all booted up now, and if I can see the LED, maybe. You can maybe see the LED. I don't think you actually can. Um, inside of, oh wait, maybe you can see it. Barely? There it is, light's on. Uh, that is the capacitor charge signifier, meaning the capacitors are now charged and it's ready to fire. So I'm going to turn this back off now. That takes a little bit to depower, so you give it a bit. Um, the battery's back here, just if you're curious. It's pretty obvious. I'm not going to bother dicking with it. It's a pain in the rear end. But that's how this process works. It's very simple. You just have discharge, which is off, and you have the on button, which boots everything up, and then you got to give it a bit to get it all running. It's not a lot. I have one point of complaint. Again, if Arc Flash is watching this, it's this button. Uh, when I pulled it out of the box, this button was like at an angle, and I was like, oh, is that a switch? So I kind of took it, and then it fell off. It's on again, but if you can see, there is a fair amount of wiggle, and I don't like it. I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, Again, maybe me just being silly, this is a prototype gun, it's going to have some fiddly bits on it, but uh, I don't know, secure that better, get a better button, I don't know how you get a better button, but I'm just spitballing here, um, can't really be a switch, because the switch takes up too much room down here, doesn't matter. Uh, loading is very simple, you'll just take the mag, which I've already got loaded over there, and then you'll just slide it in here when it's all ready to go, and then you'll just toggle it. Uh, down your mode system, and then you will shoot at your target as a normal firearm. I am going to go get us a, a couple of targets, probably some cardboard first, and then maybe some other things, and we're going to go test that out. But that's basically it for this. It's a very simple gun. It doesn't make any noise when it boots up. It just, just turns on, and then the computer turns on, and then you start toggling around with things. So you get to do settings on your gun, like it's Star Trek, which is great. So I'm going to go get us some targets. Haven't figured out what yet, but I will get back to you on that one. So I'll see you all in a second. One eternity later. All right. Here we are. So I'm going to turn the coil gun on. I'll let that uh, come to a proper charge. All right, that's up. Red light on there. Seems to be. All right. Single stack mag loaded. We'll start this off with single shot. All right. I skimmed the side of it. Let's go to burst mode. Ooh, that's fun. Mag dump. I don't know if you heard that, but, um, here, let me remove that and power down my well gun. Set that there for a moment. Uh, I don't know if you heard any of the ting ting tings, but, um, some of my shots hit the barrel. Please ignore the wind. I hope it's not too bad. That's why I had to reshoot this, actually. Uh, but some of them bounced back and hit some crap over here, so they're, they're sitting in the wood pile off to my right. Uh, it's not too bad, but do, do this if you're kind of close to the target. Just recommendation. Might even want to put a bandana on. So it'll pop back and pop you in the fucking mouth. That would suck. But uh, let's go look at the, uh, the damage, shall we? Okay, I'm trying to body block the wind as best I can here, but um, one of them went out the back end. And there's a couple of them. Oh, sorry, there's that wind again. 
couple of them. Okay, more than a couple of them <laughs> are inside. Don't worry, I'll pick that up later. There they all are. Or a bunch of them are. Let me... There we go. Okay. There's... I got dropped one, so we got three. Come on, there we go. Obviously, they're not deformed. They are just solid chunks of metal. I would be more shocked if they were. And somewhere off yonder is some more of them. Um, I suppose I'll have to get a magnet. And probably down by my feet, there's some if I... I'll look, I'll look and see if I can find a couple of them. They are just dowel pins, so it's not like it's the end of the universe if I can't find them or anything. But uh, anyway... Yeah, this is not a toy. <laughs> I uh, was shooting earlier, and uh, one of them got stuck in a board I had the uh, cardboard stuck to. So, it, yeah, there's some force here, guys. Just think of it as a really potent pellet gun, and you'll be correct. So with that all being said, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this later, other than just, you know, have, use it as an advanced plinking tool. And, uh, hope you guys all stay on safe out there. Peace out, guys.